in this story is I talked about something related to the story I'm going to talk about today, maybe about two years ago. But in this story, there's a guy by the name of Andrew Charles Beard, 33 years old. He ended up turning himself in to the police because he killed his one year old daughter's mother. Okay. Now, the reason why I'm talking about him today is because he disguised himself in blackface and donned a fake beard to kill the mother of his daughter. So he didn't do it just, just basically how it said. He, he wanted to make sure that he looked like a black man. Now, I want to roll a clip or something. Something I said two years ago. It's definitely relevant to this story. Let's roll that clip. New and something very new. What I'm wearing right now is a dermal synthetics Derek mask, and it fits great, as you can see. Um, I don't have any makeup on under my eyes right now, but I am wearing my contacts and um, have a nice shiny bald head. Uh, the other things that are really new are these. And uh, this is a smaller version of the normal gloves from CFX. And uh, they are able to skin match the color of the mask to the gloves. Um, I've had uh, SPFX gloves before and while they fit pretty well they could uh, they were very uh, poorly made uh, they ripped a lot and they really didn't feel as great as these do um, as you can see they uh, really uh, match the color of the mask very well and uh, they don't really look that big, so you can really get away with it. Um. Now, the question most of you are probably asking, why would they make something like that? You saw how realistic those masks look? You saw the guy had the gloves that look like black hands? So, think about this. The white supremacists go and get these masks and these gloves. They put on hoodies or whatever, get in cars and just roll up on innocent black people and start killing them. And then, notice, nobody never know who did the shooting. People from Chicago tell me it's cameras all over the place and none of these shootings are never solved. You know why they're not solved? Because the white supremacist cops on the Chicago police department are involved. That's why. And it's setting it up where these white supremacists come in and kill the black people. And then in the media it's blamed on Pookie and Ray Ray that's thugging. They are the one that's doing it. Come I told y'all two years ago, and oh boy, the, 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 the white supremacists were just falling apart when I said that two years ago. What kind of conspiracy theory is this? And then, and then look, this crime right here, right? This is going on a lot. This happens a lot. They sit up here and commit crimes and, and, and trying to look like they're black men and say, oh, a black man did it. And then an innocent brother that resembles something related to that, he gets jammed up on, on a crime he did not commit. Now, they said that he, he shot and repeatedly stabbed his 24-year-old uh, child's mother uh, to death as she arrived at her job in Carrollton on August, October the 2nd. They said officers arrived to find uh, Burkett, which is her last name, suffering from a gunshot wound to the head 
in addition to multiple stabbing injuries as she was trying to be treated by coworkers. And two bystanders told authorities that assailant was a black man. As a police lady discovered dark face makeup, it say and, and fake beard in cars linked to beard. Okay. It said in one of his vehicles, police uncovered a trash bag with a kitchen knife, a screwdriver, and two bottles of dark brown liquid foundation. And say the outlet reported. Okay. And they also found a bag filled with makeup removal wipes that had a brown substance on them, as well as what appears to be the remnants of makeup brush. I was in another bag of vehicle that was a pair of work boots where it was cut into pieces and had been soaked in what smelled like bleach. As they also discovered an abandoned SUV, it's in an alley less than a mile from Beard's home. It said they contacted the owner um, who said she sold the vehicle to a man on Craigslist. It said a week ago, according to the outlet, it said she described the man to authority as someone matching Beard's description. It said cops searched the vehicle and, and discovered the fake Beard. It's who appeared to be dark brown makeup stains. It's the inside. It's the investigators learned that Beard had been locked in a contentious custody battle. It's a with Burkett who expressed motor fear on her GoFundMe uh, page set up to cover her legal fees. Right? So they issued a warrant for his arrest. He turned himself in. They charged him with murder. He, he's in a Dallas County jail uh, where it's $1 million bond. Okay? So they'll use makeup, they'll use, you know, those uh, masks as well to commit crimes and try to blame it on black men. Let me tell y'all something. You know, the older I'm getting, I'm just being honest with you guys, the more like tired I am of all this. I mean, seriously, I'm, I'm just like tired of being in the environment of it. I'm tired of hearing, you know, you complaining about mask and talking about freedom and you know, a pandemic won't go away. Cause we got a group of people in this country. That's just, you know, <laughs> it, 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 and then at the end of the day, because we live here, we suffering with certain things because we live here, we're blamed for crimes they're committing innocent brothers. I've covered stories in the past where oh, a police woman shot herself, said, oh, a black man did it. Every time a black man did it, like the older I get, I'm just getting more tired of that. You know what I'm saying? I, like, I don't even want to be in the vicinity environment. That's why when I go to Africa, I, I don't, I don't deal with it. You know, I'm just happy. I ain't got to see it. I'm like, man, I'm chilling. I'm cool. And the ones that do show up over there, they only P's and Q's. They don't act like they act over here. I'm telling y'all that they don't. It's like when they're in the majority like that, they, they, they act totally different than when they in the minority, when we are the majority. So, you know, I'm just saying, you know, like y'all go for yourself and see what I'm talking about, or go wherever you want to go. That's fine. But I'm talking about those who want to do that. I'm not talking about those of you who are talking about, you know, our ancestors and yes, I know our ancestors built this country. Yes, I know that my ancestors built this country. My ancestors are attached here. Um, you know, my family come from sugar cane plantations, Louisiana. I tracked it back to there. My great, great grandmother and grandfather were, were born in slavery. Okay. So I'm, I'm have a lineage here, but as I stated before, I, my ancestors are not the only one that can build. And I have the lineage of builders and where will I put my foot on any soil? I could build there. I'm not just saying all of my ancestors are the only one that can build something. And then I can't do nothing else. Sorry, I, I know it's more to it than that. We was all over this earth, all over the earth. We went into one location. So for me, I, I'm just saying, like I said, sometimes I just, it, it, it's, it's getting too much. And I know a lot of y'all feeling that way. That's why these folks are sitting here covering every time we, we go abroad somewhere, they want to make a big story about it. They're like, why are you tracking our movements? But dealing with stuff like this, like they committing crimes, and they, and they said, I mean, think about that, man. A brother could have been in danger. If a brother resembled that look of what he had, a brother could have been innocently charged. Think about that. A charge of murder saying a black, oh yeah, he looked like the guy that did like, I ain't no, you know what I'm saying? I mean, luckily they found this, but, but what if they didn't find that? This is the danger that black men have daily living in America. An innocent black man could have been uh, caught up on this. 
Cause these, these people's these 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 uh, uh, these people sick obsession with with black people. If you're gonna do something, you do it. Don't be sitting up there trying to look like a black person did it. But when I say that they be disguising themselves and wearing masks and all that, well, this story is just proof of that, and you now you get it. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the you know this particular situation. Um, and, and, and like I said, you know, you tired as much as I'm tired of a whole lot of things. Let me know in the comments.